G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So today is an a fish video. If you are new to the channel and you didn't know, I actually try to make my vlog a little bit about my life as well as fish. Um, I know there's a lot of you who only click on fish, watch, fish related videos and I respect that. The channel says fish room in the title so I can fully understand why people wouldn't want to watch videos that aren't fish related. But I know there's a few people out there that will have a laugh about this video. Um, I'm going to change my motorbike tyre by hand and um, I've already done the front, I did it off camera. Front's much easier, back's much harder. So I thought why not take you guys for the ride. This video especially goes out to my mate Gary. Um, I know he was wanting to have a laugh of me putting it on. Um, one of the joys of my bike, let me read. Yeah, so one of the joys of my bike is it's an 18 inch wheel. It's an endurance bike, so it's actually, sorry about the light, it's actually an inch smaller than an MX bike. So the smaller the wheel, the harder it is to get on and off. Um, the front was reasonably easy. I'm actually gonna go in the shed and check that the front's still holding air. Cause I actually didn't buy a new tube. I used the old tube and also the um yeah I was I had a bit of an issue with the the rim lock, the bead lock. Um it actually fell apart. So I, I super glued it back together and I was hoping that the rubber would stay on it just long enough until I pumped it up. Anyway, let's go have a look. Alright, so while we're here, I don't know how well I explained this, but I actually crushed the bike and snapped the rear subframe. Oh, you can't even see it. It's underneath plastic. This piece here, just there, that was actually snapped off. Um, I got that all fixed. I've got the... I fixed the exhaust. I actually had to weld the back of the exhaust under there. Luckily the back of the exhaust is mild steel so I could use my hobby MIG. But I'm actually in the market for a TIG welder guys. If anybody on this channel is a TIG welder or knows much about them, can you please message, private message me and liaison with me buying a secondhand TIG welder? Because I'm looking for a TIG welder between the $700 and $1000 mark secondhand and I have no idea what I'm looking at. so. I don't want to start on a machine that is going to be bad for me, if you know what I mean. So yeah, if anybody is a TIG welder and can liaison with me buying a second-hand welder, um, send me a message. Anyway, we're here to see... Hey, the tyres... The wheel's still got air in it. Why does that... The tyre doesn't look like it's sitting... Something's going on here. The tire's not sitting up on the bead. I don't know if I've got to pump it up. What is that? There's like a nut in there. Um, I don't know if I have to pump it up higher than 12 PSI to set the tire on the rim properly and then let it back down or what? Because that's not sitting up on the bead on this side here. Hmm. Anyway, drop a comment if you know if, what the go is there. I'll just leave it for now and see what you guys comment. Because I'm actually uploading this video today. So, if anybody knows why that's not... So, this side here is sitting lower than the other side. I don't know if it will settle when I ride it or whether I need to pump it up more. But yeah, if anybody could tell me that would be great. Anyway, it's holding air. That's a good. That's a positive. Um, I actually like Scotch brighter the aluminium and stuff, so I cleaned up the frame a little bit. Um, I need to clean it up a bit more up there while the wheel's off. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I need this tire lever here. So I made these like DIY tire levers. They were for my pit bike, and they work wicked. 
The only problem is I can only find one. So I've got one full size tire lever and one small one. And it actually seemed to work all right when I did the front. But um, let's go get them. All right guys, see, so I've, popped, I've popped the bead off. Um, this kind of looks like I mean, I don't want to talk too soon, but it definitely looks softer than the original front tyre. Oh, damn it. I definitely don't want to speak too soon on whether it's going to be easier because I'm 99% sure it's going to be way harder. The front tire, my main surprise was actually how easy the new one went on. And I definitely don't think that's going to be the case with the back tire. All right, so that's, that side's down in the valley. Um, on the front tire, I used the screwdriver to get it started just here. I find like that big tire lever that I've got isn't that great for this. Um, the last bike tire actually changed was a yeah, so this is just too big. Actually a 15 inch pit bike tire. I'm not sure if I talked about that on the channel or not, but it was the death of me. The only thing we're going this way is the rim lock is right there. Can probably I'm using the right end. Um, oh yeah, I probably should be using soapy water, but I haven't. I haven't got a bottle on me right now. It's just... I know a screwdriver is not the right tool, but it just seems to work so much easier. I'm just keeping my eye in there, but making sure I don't pinch that tube. Because I went poor man style. I didn't order a new tube. <laughs> uh. All right guys, I ended up just getting the dishwashing liquid out. And uh, tried exactly the same thing and it just fell off. Basically, I got it off. I just put a little bit of soap on that ring and um, it popped straight off. So, the tube looks pretty old. I probably should have replaced it, but we're here now. I'll complain to you guys in the future when the tube dies. Um, so, Basically, get some soap on there. You don't really need it the whole way around, just the half that you're putting on second. Um, kind of got amnesia on how I normally do this.
think with the car wheels I normally like slam it down but I've still got that tube sitting there so I'm trying to be gentle of that I'm really on the wrong side myself Pretty sure the front one was like pretty much just popped, popped over by hand. I feel like the front was like the opposite to what this is going to be. The front one was like front tube, front old tyre was hard to get off, new tyre was easy to get on. I feel like back is going to be the opposite. Um, front, uh, oh, my words aren't working today. Old tyre, easy to get off, new tyre, hard to get on. Hopefully it makes a liar of me, but... Oh, I've made a mistake here, guys. I've put the tube on the wrong side. Damn it. Alright, one of the hardest parts is getting the rim lock back in. I've never really dealt with rim locks before, so I don't really know what the correct procedure is. I put it in after I put the tyre on. I'm guessing maybe it's meant to be the other way around. Alright guys, the old junker is all back together. I think it cleaned up pretty well. I'm really happy with how much shorter that exhaust is. This rear end's never going to be perfect because of uh, the accident. That's kicked in a little bit there, but I don't think that was from me. This side's always been a bit funky. When I got it, there was a cable tie here, which I've just put back. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. I'm happy with the bike. I can see it lasting me quite a while. I, don't, I need to get a chain runner for the rear, that's, uh, maybe rebuild the rear shock, I don't, I want to ride the bike again, because I've actually lost 5 kilos since I last rode it, so I think the bike might actually ride better, and I might not even need to rebuild the rear shock, it's got no gas in it, it's only got air in it, but from the riding that I do, apparently the gas only lasts 6 months anyway, so like there's not much point in getting it regassed just for trail riding. But anyway, if you've got an idea about that front tire, drop it in the comments. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. I promise I've got a banger of a video tomorrow. I'm not a day ahead in my videos, but it's there. It's going to be a banger, fish-related. Anyway, peace out.